At Home with Lucas here. So today we're going to be talking about happy coffee. Yes, people, I finally got my hands on some happy coffee. This is actually made by the company We Are Happy LLC, which is just really, really cool. I like that so much. This is their light roast coffee. And the story goes is I was walking through the grocery store and I was like, ah, I'll go check out the coffee aisle. I'm never really excited about coffee these days. And I saw this tub from pretty much halfway down the aisle. And I said, what is that? In an aisle full of rectangles and circles, I saw a square and I said, is that for me? I grabbed it. As I was looking at it, a guy was walking by and was like, is that the new coffee? As if this was known to everyone. I didn't know that this company existed, Happy. And I said, I think so. <laughs> I said, it's not a circle, it's not a rectangle, it is a square. And the first thing I noticed is that when you went to pull the lid off, I could not get the lid to go back on easily. And I figured that that was gonna be a problem going forward, but I said, you know what? It's going in the cart. This square won me over. And the fact that this is a light roast, meaning it possibly has more caffeine than a dark roast, we won't know until the very end of this video. Comment down below if you're on team light roast or team dark roast. The other thing that blew me away was it had flavor notes of cashews. I'm like, what? Cashews, is that a thing? <laughs> So I'm super excited to be putting this coffee to the at-home Lucas test. It is pre-ground coffee. I didn't see any of the tubs with whole bean. So in this video, we're doing a hands-on with the tub. Then we're gonna throw that bad boy over to the pour over and make an awesome cup of pour over coffee. After that, I'm gonna be doing the sip test to figure out is this something you should buy or maybe skip altogether. I'm here for you, so I have to waste your time sipping and disliking yes my goal is to sip all the coffees from around the world and i'm slowly working my way there i've taken a little bit of a break but i come back every once in a while when i have a coffee like this that i have to put to the sip test so let's go ahead and jump into it i did pick the light roast because i'm <laughs> slightly convinced that light roast now has more caffeine comment down below if you are on the dark roast train i've been on dark roast for a long time and i am noticing that some light roast not all of them will give you a little bit more of a kick and you're like oh that's definitely more caffeine um but yeah so this is this is what it looks like it's very interesting um and it is only in ground coffee as far as i know it there was no whole bean there i would have grabbed that for sure um and then you have this this basic square top right here and you pop it off and it reveals that it's basically just a square version of a circle uh, coffee container. So instead of being a, a standard circle, they just made a square. Let's go ahead and crack this open and take a look inside. Okay, I don't know why I thought that was gonna tear off really easily and there was gonna be some kind of like sound that it would make that would be really cool. Uh, but nope, it is, <laughs> it just ripped so terribly, like, and I get it, this is just, you're just gonna rip this off, um, but they didn't really do their job on, <laughs> they didn't really do their job on the ripping off of this and how it's gonna look to the customer, like, this is hilarious. But yeah, that looks really interesting. Let's get it over the pour over and get a reviewing. One thing that's really funny, this is just me picking nits, but I think this company needs to address this ASAP. This lid literally just pops off. Like there's nothing holding it on and there's no seal. And it actually goes on really weird sometimes. Um, but yeah, this lid, if you drop this over, you're gonna spill all your coffee. Like literally, it does not sit on there. I'll turn it sideways like this. It still does not sit on there and lock down. Turn it again. So. Definitely take note of that when you buy this watch. I'll probably be able to squeeze it and it'll pop off. Nope. Okay, it's not that it's not that flimsy, but still, that is not gonna keep your coffee fresh. So you're basically gonna need to buy this, dump it all in, and call it a day because this is gonna go stale so fast. Okay, my coffee to water ratio is four one-eighth scoops, so that's one-eighth cup. 
and then I load up 500 milliliters of water. And this is looking absolutely beautiful. You can see that true rich crema like appearance on top. When I say crema, I'm not talking about an espresso shot. I'm just talking about the way it looks. It looks beautiful up there. It's rich, it's full bodied, and it really holds the water and then releases it slowly, which is a sign that it's good beans. And then we're gonna take a closer look at the pour. Ooh, it's pretty right here. It definitely is pretty going in, but then it loses complete prettiness very quickly. All right, let's get into this sip test, people. I am super excited. I haven't done a sip test in quite some time. It's really funny that I started off doing the sip test when I had one baby boy. Now I have three kids. I have a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a 10-month-old baby boy. So we've come full circle, people. <laughs> if you've followed this channel from the beginning, that is how this all started. The pandemic hit and I literally had zero money to buy any products, couldn't buy anything to review, but I was buying coffee and I said, I can put this coffee under the camera and I can start reviewing coffee because I can afford that. <laughs> and that is how this came about. That is how, um, that's not how the channel came about, but that is how a coffee review came to be. That's how you are watching me right now doing a sip test on this very strange new coffee that's in a square container, <laughs> not a circle. I don't understand. The lid pops off too easily and it does not seal. I mean, the lid for anything is, is a seal. It locks the freshness in. It keeps it in there. Um, if you're following along at home, that was four scoops to 500 milliliters of water. That is my coffee to water, coffee to water, coffee to water ratio. Um, yeah, round three with kids, I'm not as tired as round one. My my uh, oldest boy, he really beat the heck out of me. That kid was never sleeping, always crying. Um, just needed a lot. And I think the firstborn always does that. They really test you. They're like, all right, you think you're a parent? Let's find out. <laughs> so I'm not as tired as the first round, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely tired. Um, but this, this third one is a gem. He sleeps, he eats, he doesn't cry hardly at all. He only cries if he's bumped his head or teething or constipated and that's about it. Uh, 99% of the time he is smiling and happy. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let this cool down. I think it's probably around 140. I'm doing the uh, the field test. I'm not gonna put a thermometer in there this time. I'm just feeling it. I'm like, yeah, that feels about right. And then you could do the blow test. Yeah, that's probably 130 actually. Uh, coffee in my house these days is cooling down a lot faster. I think it's because the AC is set to 71 and it's probably around 70 in this room right now and that causes the coffee to cool off a lot faster. But yeah, so this is very interesting. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if you have already gone through the grocery store and, and noticed this coffee. I was not gonna buy any coffee today. I was like, I'll go check the coffee. I always check it, try to get excited about something. And there it was, I was like, whoa. And I, as I was buying it and leaving, I was like, oh, I should have filmed it. <laughs> But nonetheless, this is a very interesting cup of coffee. Uh, the flavor notes are quite wild. I don't know if we're gonna hit those flavor notes. Cashew is very interesting. I don't think I've ever, I've seen nut, but I don't know if I've ever seen cashew. So let's go ahead and stop the jibba jab. Let's get into the sip and see what this tastes like. Okay, 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 wow. Okay, I was expecting smooth. I was literally sipping it going, this is gonna go down really smooth. But what happened was the cashew, you know how cashews are curved? It literally hit the top of my mouth and got stuck and then went down. So it's not smooth at all, but it's not smooth in a fun way. And it's very sweet, wow. So the flavor notes I'm getting are extremely sweet. There's a tiny hint of smokiness in the back, like you ate a, a cashew that was a little bit well done. <laughs> wow, beautiful flavor. Whoa, I am blown away. 
Mm. Yeah. Wow. So the flavor, the flavor is kind of all over the place and it kind of is trying to not be like the rest of the coffee out there is what I'm getting. I'm getting this feeling of like, we didn't want to make the normal coffee. We're doing something different. We're trying to be happy. <laughs> yeah, so I'm already fully used to the flavor. It's no longer as explosive as that first sip. That first sip was unbelievable. Um, and now it's just very, it's, it's a warm, it's a warm coffee. I don't know. It's not temperature warm. There's just something about it. That's very inviting and comfortable if you will. So it, it's not, it's not too strong and it's not too weak. It's not too bitter. It has like this well blend of all of that. So there is a bitterness. There is a tiny, tiny smokiness. There is a lot of sweetness. And then there's also this like dullness that's like watery, but not in a bad way. And it really just sort of gives you this sort of aromatic feel in the mouth that is different than most coffees out there. Mm. Yeah, there is like this bitterness that flows around the mouth when you give it the sip. And when you hold it in your mouth for a second, you're like, okay, bitter. Then there's a sweetness that comes that's and you inhale sweetness and wow. So it's a very, very complex cup of coffee. There's a lot going on here and I kind of sloppily made it. Like I, I didn't even make it like as perfect as I normally would. I kind of made it kind of sloppy and yet it's a great cup of coffee. So that is really, really cool. It definitely doesn't look the prettiest. I will say it doesn't have a real pretty sort of look to it and it has a dark look to it. And for a light roast, you're kind of like, but it's a very enjoyable cup of coffee. It, it feels like it has some, some protein packed in it somewhere from those cashews. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that is very interesting. It has a bite to it. So as I'm drinking it, as it's cooling a little bit, I'm starting to get a little bit more of a bitter around the mouth. So my mouth has become fully saturated in all the flavors. And what'll happen as you drink coffee, new coffee, you're gonna slowly start to hone down on just one sort of flavor. And that's gonna be the flavor that's gonna run the show. And as it cools, you'll either love or hate the coffee. You guys probably are, all know that, but m my judgment of coffee often is, can I give it a sip when it is cold? Like when it has sat forever, can I give it a sip and is it enjoyable? Some coffees, you give it a sip when it's cold and it's terrible. You're like, oh, that's garbage. Other coffees, you give it a sip when it's cold and you're like, that tastes almost better than when it was hot. So, mm. Wow, so I'm gonna give the container a five star for shelf presentation. I'm gonna say that it it jumped off the shelf at me. Like it literally jumped off the shelf and I didn't really even hesitate to put in the cart. So it did its job, it really did. The lid on the other hand is a total failure and I believe that they may either stop making it this way or they're gonna have to put some kind of seal around that lid because that is not gonna keep that coffee fresh. And if people are casual drinkers, they're gonna come back to that after it's like half full and it's gonna be stale and terrible because all of the CO2, everything, all the air is gonna get in and out and it's just gonna get ruined basically. Um, so they need to put a seal on top of that. They could push back and say, that the lid is some form of, uh, no, I don't think they could push back at all. <laughs> that lid needs to be fixed. It needs to be updated um, because this coffee is delicious. It is very, very good. So because of the lid itself, I'm gonna give the, the container a three star out of five. The coffee right here, I'm gonna give it a 4.9. Boom, all the way up there. And that's for ground coffee too. You have to remember, this is ground coffee. We didn't grind up any beans. They did a phenomenal job of grinding those beans just right. The flavor notes are just right. Everything about this is very, very exciting and very good. So get yourself one of these. 
cups uh, today if you can and, and get happy. I mean, as we get older, we lose that happiness that we had even just years prior. Like it's crazy how aging just slowly starts to whittle away the happiness until you are left with just a few things that make you happy. And this happy, it's, oh man, it's doing it. It's definitely doing it. I'm liking it. I'm very happy with it. <laughs> Solid star rating. Um, definitely easily you could throw it into a Keurig, into a reusable K-cup. You could throw this into a drip coffee maker super easily. You could throw it into a Philips Super Automatic, into the pre-ground little port on top. You just flip it open, dump it in there, you're good to go. There's a lot of ways to do pre-ground coffee. Would I recommend buying pre-ground coffee over whole bean? No. If you can do it yourself and you can grind those beans and break them down, do it. Go for it. That's going to be the best. Um, and grinders, they're not as scary or expensive as you may think. I mean, you probably already have a grinder yourself, but you can get one in between 30 and 70 bucks. That's really good. You're gonna get some good um, grind action going on and you just gotta make sure you buy a burr grinder. It's gotta say B-U-R-R -R grinder. That's the best. I feel like this coffee is also making me want to continue to talk. So I'm like, oh, is this a talking coffee? Some coffee you feel mellow, some coffee you feel like chilled. And some coffee makes me sleepy. I don't even know why, but some coffee will literally make me sleepy. This coffee is definitely giving me an energy boost. And I, like I said in the beginning, it could be because it's a lighter roast. I don't know. Comment down below if you're uh, on team light roast or team dark roast. <laughs> I honestly think that the coffee industry got so oversaturated with people drinking dark roast that they were like, uh-oh, we're not selling any light roast. <laughs> and so they were like, we gotta make up something to get people to buy that light roast. And so they're like, more caffeine's in the light roast. And everyone was like, uh, hmm, let's try that light roast real quick. <laughs> I don't know. All right, there you go. Solid star rating. Um, I would definitely say you could drink this with sweet breakfast food or salty breakfast food. I think this will work with either or because it has that sort of well-balanced flavor notes to it that are going to lend you a great cup of coffee. If you want to throw creamer in here, you could definitely do that. I am on team latte. I definitely drink a latte pretty much once a day now. I'm on the team um, milk. <laughs> I'm on team calcium right now. That's what I'm saying. I need to get more of that in my system. Um, so yeah, definitely could throw some milk in here, some syrup and all that fun stuff. And it probably would still taste just like it does right now, which is really powerful and really, really good. So buy it. Wow, it's actually good coffee. I was not expecting that. I thought the tub was going to be just the peak of my enjoyment, but no, once you crack that bad boy open and make a cup of coffee, boom, I was blown away. That was awesome. So there you go. That is the happy coffee. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely clearly clack that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 11K. Yes, people, on my way to 12K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube, they should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye